Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel and thanks for joining me for another plan with me. In this video, I'm going to be planning in my classic happy planner for the week of April 27th through the 3rd. And this week is my nephew's birthday and he's a huge Mickey Mouse fan. Um, just loves him so much. So I wanted to do a Mickey inspired spread. Now I don't have any Mickey related stickers so I'm going to have to come up with something using what I have when it comes to like happy planner stickers. So I'm probably going to be pulling like a bunch of shapes, colorful shapes. This will probably be a good one to pull too because it has a bunch of different colors. I'm thinking of doing like black, red, and then maybe some of this orange color if I can find a good one. I don't know. I'm not quite sure yet what I'm going to do. Um, but I actually, the first thing I do know I want to do, I do want to add this polka dot washi because I feel, I don't know why it reminds me of Mickey. So I'm just going to pull it in on, into this spread. All right, so yeah, I'm gonna do that first since that's the only thing I really know that I wanna do. So I'm just gonna put some in a few places. Okay, so one thing I was thinking of doing is making some Mickey-shaped colorful boxes, colorful shapes. So they'll still be functional to use, but it'll look like a Mickey Mouse. Hopefully this turns out how I'm thinking. But I have these large circles and then I have these smaller ones. So I'm thinking of using this like the head and then these would be the ears. And like I said, hopefully this turns out how I'm thinking. So I'm gonna get I'm gonna get a planning guide. So I have one of these just to help me layer this properly. Because I do want to take one of these large ones and then I'll take two of these little ones. And I'm thinking of just making a Mickey, a Mickey like that. I think that looks cute. And I might put that, okay, so his birthday's on the 30th. So I for sure want to put one on that day. So I might put one there. And like I said, it still gives me a place to write. Like I can write his birthday in here. I have a, a, a circle to use on Friday. So it's still super functional, but it looks really cute. So I think that's what I'll do. I'm wondering if I should get rid of those black lines though, because you can see them through. But I don't know if I should mess with it. I think I'm just gonna leave it because I don't want to mess it up. Okay, so I think I'm gonna put this here, like I said, since this is his birthday. And then I could probably do another one up here, and then I for sure want to do another one on this side. So I'm just gonna do the same thing. I'm gonna take one of these, and I'm just gonna layer two circles. And this time I'm gonna get the dot grid one. So I'm going to put this, just so I have them exactly the same, I'm going to put the this over the one I already did. That way I can get them to look similar. And I can put this one on top. Okay, and then I'll probably put this one over here in this corner. And it's a little slanted. I'll write a little slanted, actually. I think that should be fine. All right, that looks good. And then I'll probably just add one more over here just so I have the same thing on this side. I'll just have to get another one of these colorful shapes because this one only came with two large circles, and I need one more of these large circles. Okay, so I have another one of these so I can make one more for this other side. I'm gonna take, just do the same thing. I'm gonna lay them on top of this one just as my little guide. This one on 
top of here. All right, so I'm thinking maybe this one can go maybe in the middle somewhere. I'll put it, yeah, I'll put it for Tuesday. Okay, so those are my Mickeys. Um, and I do want to add in some reds and some of the oranges. I think I'm going to, okay, let me look in here and see what they have. They do have red stickers in here. But I don't know if I should still continue with circles or if I should just start adding in some squares just to change it up a little bit. So I feel like maybe squares will be good on a few days just to get some color around the page. Get those Mickey colors around the page. Let's see if there's any orange colors I can use. So I know there's orange in this book. Okay, I'm going to use this one. It's kind of orangey yellow. I think it'll go. I think I'm going to switch some of these around. So I was trying not to put the same size near each other, but I think I might switch. some headers on these. Okay, so they have these headers. I don't know if they have any orange ones. Oh, they do have orange ones. It's not really the orange I wanted. Even though that's kind of yellow, it's really bad orange. I'm going to put this, the plan on this one, and remember over here. Let me lower this one actually a little bit more. Okay, so I have the plan for this one. And today on this one. And like I said, it's not the right orange, but I don't have any other. Unless I look through more books, I can't find any more of that. Um, this kind of yellowy orange. Because this one only has yellow. probably look through a couple more books just to see if I can find something that will work better and I think I do want to get some kind of sidebar over here okay so I'm gonna change my mind on something um, I'm gonna make this yellow instead of this orangey yellow because I think his shoes are more yellow than orange honestly or I could just leave it red and black I'm not sure um, but I did want to add in something on the sidebar and I have my little sheet of extra colorful boxes that I've made. 
bags. And I think I have, yeah, I have a large one. It's not the best, like it wasn't cut properly, but it'll work. So I'm just gonna take this out and I don't know if I should add anything to this. Okay, I think I'm just gonna put this on the sidebar. Just right here. And then I'm gonna get I'm gonna get another header. I'll do remember. Okay, let me see about adding yellow. If yellow will look okay if I add that in. Or if I just, just keep it red and black, I'm not sure. I have, a, I have this yellow, which I feel might work better than what I was using before. I don't know why I was using that before. And then I have this yellow. I don't have two different size boxes in the yellow, so I'll just have to use the same size. But that's okay. I think actually I might move this one. Once again, I'm gonna move these. I'm gonna put this one over here. That way I can put this yellow down here. Okay, and then I'm going to look for a header. Alright, so I got the same ones, just these remember today's for the plan. So I'm going to put remember on this one. And then the plan on this one. Okay, so I was thinking of adding in this quote right here because I feel like it has a kind of Disney-like script. Um, and I wanted to add it right over here, but I need to cover up that April monthly box. So I just have some Avery shipping label paper that I'm gonna cut down and just cover that, cover this section up. I'm going to just cover this up so that way I can put a quote. Okay, so I have that let the good times roll and I can just put this right over this box. I think that looks really cute there. Yeah, I like how that looks. Um, I did find another quote. This one says, choose joy. And it still has that same kind of script, which I really like that. It's not as red as I would have hoped. It's kind of orangey, though. That's the only thing. I'm going to hold off on that one. I'm going to see if I can find a better one that's either black or more red. Okay, so I ended up moving this up just a little bit more because I found this really cute Joy sticker and I wanted to put this over here. So I needed to make more room for it. I think I'm going to wipe this out a little bit. I always forget to white out these lines. They don't bother me very much, but it does look nicer when you wipe them out. Yeah, so I'm going to put that Joy right there. And I really like that font because it does remind me of Disney. I don't know. I don't know why it does, but it does. Um, okay, I think I'm going to add in some bullet points because I do have all the color options in here. And I can add them onto the page. Okay, so this yellow, it's hopefully to be bright enough. It doesn't look super bright on the page, but hopefully it'll work. 
So I'm just going to put a couple of these around the page. Just in a few different areas. Are they red ones? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to add some of these little circles. Okay, so I just added a few more of those little bullet points around the page. And then I moved this box because it was a little bit more on Thursday and I actually have a bill due on Friday. So I wanted to have that right there. And then I'm thinking of writing my nephew's name in here in this little Mickey. Um, maybe write happy birthday, Jacob. Uh, I'll probably write in the happy birthday and then I'll, I wanted to use some alphabet letters to spell out his name. Um, I feel like these are kind of... Disney or Mickey-ish kind of writing. So I'm going to put his name in the middle. I like to start with the middle letter. That way hopefully I can get it to um, be spaced out okay. So put the O. I'm trying to use these little grid lines in here to help me make it straight. Alright, so that looks good. And like I said, I'll just write in happy birthday and then that'll be happy birthday Jacob. And that's really, really cute. I like how that looks. And, um, alright, I'm trying to think. You know what? I'm thinking over here, since I have so much red, I did want to change this remember. I want to change it to a yellow one since I want to get more of that yellow around the page. So I'm just going to grab the same, hopefully I have the same sticker. Yeah. To have a remember in yellow that way I can switch this one out and get some yellow on this side of the page all right so I think that looks good like that I really like how this looks. It looks super cute. Um, I'm trying to think if I need to add anything else. Or if I should have put more boxes around the page, like some smaller boxes or another quote. I'm not sure. I did find one that might work. This shine one is really cute. I don't know if I should add it here though. I do add it here, I'll have to get rid of this bullet point. Okay, I'm going to add back the bullet point up a little bit more because I can still use that space to write. I can move it down here. I don't know. Maybe it'll look better down here. Something like that. I don't know. I think that looks cute. It's kind of hard to do a theme like this when there's absolutely no stickers for it, but um, this rainbow one is has been super good. Like, if you are going for a specific color scheme, you can find 
the colors you need in here so that's pretty good definitely recommend this book it's a really good sticker book okay so there's these washi stickers in here that I kind of like because they are have like little stars in them I don't know it looks really pretty I was thinking of adding them in I don't know I just like the way they look I don't know if I should add them in though I feel like it's a little fun I mean I have this washi which I love um, but I feel like I need a little bit more a l something else on the page so I do have the red and I do have a yellow so I could add them in Let me see the yellow one. And I do have two long strips of each color and then this little tiny one. So I'm gonna put some right here just to see how it looks. I feel like it adds, I always feel like washi adds kind of a finishing touch. That's what I love using, especially like that washi sticker is really good. I'm trying to find my, oh, I remember what I did with it. I was trying to find my box, or my knife. I forgot I put it in this really cute new pen pouch that I just got. I love this thing. It's super, super cute. This is from the Newbie Happy Box. All right, so I'm going to just cut this around. Actually, I didn't need the gift card because I'm going to have to cut it around this circle. Like that. I don't know. I kind of like it because it does add a little bit more onto the page. I could probably add some red down here. I'm going to save this yellow, add it somewhere over here. Um, so I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to add some of this really cute washi onto the page. All right. So I got those little washi strips on here, and I got those from this rainbow sticker book they are I think each color has its own little strip and there's two pages of them so if you're looking for those that that's where they that's where you can find them yeah they seem like they have them on each color yeah they do so yeah I really love how that looks I feel like that's the finishing touch I, I just love washi so much and that's why I like using it and, and I really like this washi stickers because they tend to put them now a little bit more in the books and then they coordinate well with, you know, since I was using these boxes, they do match with what I was putting on this page. Um, and then I actually ended up, I wasn't going to do this, but I ended up going back and whiting out the parts you could see from the little ears that I made. I ended up whiting them out just a little bit because um, it was starting to bother me that I could see them a little bit through the head. So I did that and I'm thinking since I added, I have like a little bit of gold, or not gold, silver foil right here in the sticker where it says joy. I wanted to add some more silver and more, honestly just some more sparkle onto the page. And I have some this trendsetter sticker book and I have all of these like little confetti stars I feel like this will be good to add onto the page. So I'm going to just sprinkle these around in a few places possibly and just make it a little bit more, more fun. Okay, so I added a little bit of those little sparkly pieces around the page. It's not super noticeable, but I like, I really like how that looks. I think it looks super cute. And just put those all a little bit around the page, just a little bit. And I really like how that looks. And I think, honestly, with that, I'm done. I love how this one turned out. It's so much fun. I think, honestly, it, it it's kind of how I was picturing in my head that I wanted it to turn out. So I'm glad I was able to do that, even though, you know, kind of had to make it up on my own, um, which is a little bit more difficult, but honestly, a lot more fun to create a spread when you don't have any stickers or a theme to go by 
when it comes to a sticker book and just you know be a little bit more creative definitely had to be creative with this spread but i for sure recommend getting this sticker book this one is awesome that's why it says awesome on the cover because it's such a good sticker book to get and it has a lot of different colors in here that you can work with and i don't know it's just a really good sticker book i recommend getting this one this one's worth it the money for sure and then honestly any of the colorful shapes colorful boxes these are always good to have on hand too so i mean i was able to create all of that honestly with just these two i mean i did pull in this old trendsetter one but other than that it was a lot of just colorful shapes and boxes and some alphabet but yeah that's about it i really love how this one turned out um super excited to have this mickey themed spread for my nephew's birthday i'm sure i'm gonna send my brother a picture to show him hopefully he approves of this spread and, and i hope you guys all enjoyed watching this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and if you'd like to see more of my videos please hit that subscribe button and i hope to see you guys all in the next one